Talking about things that they might uh, share in common in terms of policy, they also, perhaps, as you suggested in the piece, may share sort of a, uh, sort of a tendency toward protectionism, if I can call it that, sort of a populist approach on tariffs, uh, as, as well as a reluctance to deal with the debt and the deficit. <laughs> well, absolutely. So, uh, obviously, Trump put in the, his tariffs, and Biden has essentially doubled down on it. Legal immigration is still really hard uh, under Biden, you know, became much harder under Trump. I, I won't speak of the open border policies, but uh, they both, you know, in that respect, were trying to shut out the outside world. And uh, Trump's talking about expanding his tariffs and Biden's uh, Inflation Reduction Act, kind of misnamed, is very protectionist. I mean, the Europeans are livid about it. Uh, that he, he does things that where you have to buy American in many ways. So we, they're certainly the two most protectionist presidents in a long time. How much and, of oh, I'm sorry, you asked about the debt. He, and yes, I mean, Washington in general uh, has a very uh, relaxed attitude towards debt that I think they're going to be sorry about. Uh, Biden's speech suggested blowing up the debt. And, uh, of course, we have really no idea what Donald Trump will do, but that's what he did last time he was president. A good guess he will do it again. And as you know, David, we've talked about it and I've talked about it for years. Uh, you can't count on real interest rates being ultra low anymore. I think they're probably not going to be. And the idea that it's a free lunch, I think, is uh, past thinking. Yeah, I want to come back to the real interest rates, but before that, let's go, let's talk about tariffs for just for a second, because President Trump has said he wants 10 percent tariffs across the board for all countries worldwide. And, and by the way, he might increase them if anybody reciprocated with tariffs coming back. And against China, he's talking about 50 or even 60 percent tariffs. What likely effect could that have in the economy? We, I must say, we did have Paul Krugman on who said 10 percent tariffs don't make that much of a difference. I, I mean, 10 percent tariffs uh, would, I think, uh, push up uh, inflation, they push up interest rates. The, uh, that, that certainly, back when Trump put in his uh, tariffs in uh, 2019, the Fed had to do an about face on its interest rate policy because of the, the uncertainty and stress that caused. So, you know, it's, it's one thing to talk about over a 50 year horizon, does it matter that much if you put in tariffs? If you do it out of the blue, it's very dislocating to the economy. Uh, I think it would be very, tend to be very recessionary, inflationary, uh, and, uh, and obviously other countries would retaliate. So let's come back to that question you raised about the long-term real interest rates, uh, because there is something of a disagreement, it appears. We had Mary Daly on from the San Francisco Fed recently, who said she still thinks that it's around 2.5 to 3 percent sort of a long-term neutral rate, which is composed of various components, as you know so well. Uh, on the other hand, Larry Summers has come on and said it's much higher than that. You, in the past, have said you think it is higher. No, I, well, I, I've studied the most the 10-year rate, uh, really long-term data on 10 year rates. And, uh, it, you know, it's not it, it's probably more in the range of one and a half to two percent than in the zero percent that it was from 2012 to 2021. The short term rate, uh, I, I don't you know, it's possible the term premiums change. But, you know, look at the economy. It, it doesn't feel like we have really tight monetary policy. If if we were really three percent above a neutral rate right now, you would think that something would have hit faster and harder. And I, I would agree with my colleague Larry Summers that, you know, we're probably more like a percent or a percent and a half above what would currently be a neutral rate. So if you're aiming for 2.5, I think you're going to end up stopping a long time before you get there.